Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I love you because you were the first Oscar I won. I was wonderful as Joyce Heath. This is a show that uh, I wrote and that I star in. Um, it's called Betty Davis Ain't for Sissies and it's about young Betty Davis in 1939. And it's a time in her life when she wasn't winning. She's not very happy about that. Winner, best picture, Gone with the Wind. Winner, best supporting actress, Hattie McDaniel, Gone with the Wind. Winner, best actress, Vivian Lee, Gone with the Wind. In 1939, the LA Times leaked the winners early who was going to win and lose for the, the Oscars. So I say, well, I stayed. I leave the Oscars. I should have won for Dark Victory, but uh, this year, Gone with the Wind is going to take the Oscar and everything else. So in my play, I, I have Betty Davis leave. I'm not your average Hollywood housewife. You are married to a box office sensation. And I'm married to an unemployed musician. The thing that I think is amazing about Betty Davis is she was, she's a storyteller and every bit of my play is about her story and telling the world what she was about. She was a, she was a fighter and she was there to fight for good pictures, good scripts and um, she wasn't going to take no for an answer. So my play is about that time in her life where she's up against the world and not always winning. Everyone assumes she wins. She doesn't always win. She fought a lot in Hollywood to get to where she is later in life. In 1934, as Mildred in Somerset Mom's classic of human bondage, Miss Davis had given what was probably the best performance ever recorded on the screen by a U.S. actress. Warners have rewarded her for this with a series of mediocre pictures, climaxed by that of God's country and the woman in which she played a lumberjack. I'm a history buff and so I took two years just to research and going through archives, things that weren't in books, going through archives that there's a couple universities that have, you know, footage and have things that you, you can touch, you can touch her handwriting and so I found facts that I felt that people, you know, might not know and so I thought that was important to give you a slice of Betty Davis's life that you don't know about. They paint our pictures, they fabricate us into celebrities we're not. They make us hate what we love for what? Uh, about seven years ago, someone said, you've got Betty Davis eyes. And I said, what? No. And she said, no, you do. You look like Betty Davis. And I was like, huh? And at that point, I hadn't seen a Betty Davis movie. I wasn't a fan. I knew very little other than that she was an actress. I knew that. So I kind of had to start over and learn about this really incredible person. And I fell in love with her young, you know, Betty Davis in my play is only 31. So she's young and she's fighting Hollywood. And um, we look kind of a lot alike. There was a time. I was gonna pack my bags. I was gonna get out of here. Who needs Hollywood? The thing about it is that we're different. I'm never gonna be Betty Davis, but I can be Jessica being Betty Davis. And as an actor, I work from the inside out. So once I find her on the inside, we just mold together and my choices, her choices become one. And so when I'm up here, I feel her. You know, that's the art of, and the magic of it. Once I get on stage, it's just me and Betty and that's it. It's a song I love, the melody of 42nd Street. Dance break. You know, when I'm up here, I've prepared so much that I can just turn it off and just have fun and play. And that's the real hope as, as theater goes along is that you've worked so hard that when you get on the stage, you can just have fun and let things happen. You read Doc Victory. You notice the part of Judith Traherne. That's a role for me. There's a moment when she's talking about Dark Victory, which is the film that she ultimately lost to in Gone with the Wind. And she says, um, you know, I go upstairs alone, completely alone, and I lay down in my bed and everything goes dark. I think about how many times in our life when we are big stars, so many times it just goes dark. And that's part of, I think, the greatness of Betty Davis. She was a human being. She wasn't always perfect. Fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy night. 